podcast they can be proud of. First, we're going to help you come up with a show topic and structure. We'll advise you on how to pick your co-hosts, art, and music for your show, and some basic recording techniques. We'll talk you through buying equipment, which won't be as expensive as you're imagining, we promise. Next, it's the technical info, the editing, the post-production, finding a place to host the file, all the nerdlinger stuff we promise is a lot less excruciatingly boring than it sounds. With your show on its feet, we'll focus on growing your audience and interacting with listeners. Short version, act like a decent human being. If you want to get really ambitious, we can even talk through ways to make a few bucks off your podcast, like with ad sales, listener support, and selling merchandise. Finally, we'll explain how to take all that we've taught you and spend a decade honing your craft, then write a book containing all your knowledge. Only then, once the cycle begins anew, will we be allowed to die and ascend to heaven. We, we should have left that last part out. <laughs> hey, who's ready to start podcasting? Chapter 1 Pre-production. What's your podcast about? In podcasting's golden era, or at least when we started our first show in 2010, you didn't need your podcast to really be about anything. Hell, you barely even needed a microphone. There were fewer podcasts in those days, and listeners were just happy to have something, anything, to fill the terrible silence. That's not just me pining for a simpler time, though I'm 39 now, so I do that a lot. But it's important for you to understand that your favorite show, especially if it's been around a while, is probably not a good model for what a podcast can be about. As of this writing, there are something like 850,000 podcasts out there, according to Podcast Insights. You might be the world's most charming conversationalist or gifted storyteller, but unless you're already a big star, you aren't going to rise above the den without a great concept. You just won't. There are just too many podcasts competing for the same oxygen. Ear oxygen. You, you get the idea. First, you need your concept. You can start with a paragraph about what you want to achieve and how exactly you'll go about it, but it's important to be able to boil it down to a single sentence pitch. Remember, the pitch isn't just for you. You want your audience to be able to spread the word about your show in a way that is both concise and interesting. Can you sell it in a sentence? That's your pitch. Heck, even the big stars have more success when they have a strong pitch. The first line of the Apple podcast listing for Anna Ferris is unqualified is, quote, not great relationship advice from completely unqualified Hollywood types, end quote. There's your pitch right there. And it's a good one. The big sentence. You may be tempted to start with that one sentence pitch, but it's putting the podcast cart before the podcast horse. His name is Bucko, by the way. He's a delight. Instead, let's use that one sentence as a navigational star to guide us through this process. Give yourself the freedom to roam around as you hone your pitch. But if you find you could no longer boil your pitch down to one punchy sentence, you'll know you've gone astray. If we were launching My Brother, My Brother, and Me today, we wouldn't. Or at least we wouldn't in its current state. Let's try to pitch it. Three brothers give bad advice, but it's funny. It's short. That's good. But it falls apart in the last two words. It's funny. The listener reads our pitch and rightly replies, but who says it's funny? We look at one another furtively and blurt out, uh, we do? Except we're talking to nobody because the listener has already moved on to one of the other half million shows. Let's look at one of our more recent shows. The McElroy brothers will be in Trolls 2. I'd write the pitch out for you, but the title really says it. More on that later. Three non-celebrities try to con their way into a major motion picture. Now, maybe that's a show for you, maybe it's not, but you're at least able to make an instant judgment call about whether you want to listen. My show Sawbones, A Marital Tour of Misguided Medicine, is, well, it's right there in the subtitle, isn't it? So, that's the big sentence. Let's start building it. Why are you here? Why do you want to make a podcast?
Do you want 